all this time, all this worry, all this way to go for nothing. What's the sense of the hurry? You tell me if you sent something. I dreamed a lot when I was younger. I'm older now, yet still I hunger for some understanding. There's no understanding now. Was there ever one thin line? draws the border between madness and the genius, but no pen can erase it, so we keep these things between us. I dreamed a lot when I was younger, I'm older now, yet still I hunger. For some understanding, there's no understanding now. Was there ever? That's called Harvey Ambrosia. Summer I've never traveled. Ambrosia, second album. Ambrosia. Alan Parsons was the producer. 1976, when I was at Kent State. Kent State. Their first album came out in 1975. That that's the summer of '75. Terry and I were Mike Mike Reiner and Sue Duncan at the Sheraton down Florida Extension. We're close to Hyde Park. On the way to the Park Road West. You know, he's going to the airport. <laughs> the old air, Pittsburgh International Airport. The old airport. Where I worked at, at the Red Wings. The Gladio Food Service. <laughs> but yeah. Ambrosia. That's a second album. First album is called Ambrosia. But the second album is called Somewhere I've Never Traveled. Somewhere I've never traveled. Ambrosia. I love Ambrosia. I took Mike's, Mike's album, went to Mark Amadon's house in Hyde Park, and a copy, and get a copy to a track to uh, Kurt Miller. Kurt Miller. Eric, Eric Miller's brother. About Tim's age. They're the same age. Yeah. And Terry told me that they got killed, murdered. I was down in, in the Naples, Florida. Jeez. Kurt and Donald Miller. Kurt Miller loves Ambrosia. He play it. He loves Ambrosia. Somewhere in there. Nice, nice, very nice. Hold, hold it on yesterday. Drink of water. Drink of water. <sighs> Get those tall. Yes. Ambrosia. I saw Ambrosia at Kent State at Fleetwood Mac. Both LA bands, right? But they were. See, they were. They're, 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 the band was in the UK. And Bob Walsh got busted for marijuana and had to withdraw from the band. I was at the Kent State Ballroom. I opened the guy beside me and said, Who's this? Who's that? It was Stevie Nicks. It was Stevie Nicks. I was, I was expecting Bob Walsh because back, back in 1975 when I was going to Kent State I was standing at Grandma and Grandma Medium's house, we went to a, a Zayer store, 
Zaire started Barberton, Ohio. Barberton. Then I I got Hero, Heroes Are Hard to Find for like a buck. The album. The album. It's Bob Welsh. Fleet Mac, you know, Mick Fleet Mick Fleetwood. McVee. Jo John McVee and and uh what's the name? The blonde? Chris Christy McVee. Was that was seventy five? Yeah, seventy five. I was uh, I was I was the first person in line at at the ballroom at Kent State. I in a I I got I got in there and I uh, I was right in the front row, the first row. I thought that's too close. I hopped over the chair. I hopped over the other chair. I, I sat in the third row. And then the concert started, and I was like, I, I, I opened the guy beside me. I said, "Who's this? Where's Bob Welsh?" Because I don't know. He asked the other guy beside him. That's Stevie Nicks. And boy, was she good. <laughs> that is Stevie Nicks. That's about the second time that Stevie Nicks ever played with Fleetwood Mac. Why? But Ambrosia was a warm up the warm up band. Because by then Fleetwood Mac was an LA band. LA. So it's Ambrosia. <laughs> Later on so I uh, I saw Dr. Tall, then you know, the War Child, and then I saw Todd Rungren, the same ballroom. Todd Rungren's Utopia. Utopia. But Tall was so big that it could be played at the gymnasium. War Child, 1975. Probably the best concert of all because they had three, three runways and Ian Anderson would go right in people's face, you know. Lots of room. I found from John's time that you have to sit off, don't sit right across from the stage, sit right, right in front of the stage, but up, not on the floor, sit up higher. So you can see better. <laughs> Had a little, little angle like that. You can see. That kind of was so good. Skid you away. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so many things to say. That's a good, that's probably my favorite concert at all. When I was at Kent State, as a, as a, a pledge for Phi Kappa, Phi Sigma Kappa, and we're in the, uh, Room that you where the beer, the beer cap was. It was a, it was a bar there. I I was I sat by myself for a while. I heard this. It reminded me of something. This is like January of 1975. Guess where it was? Yes, soon. I mean, then it hit me. I just went to the concert with Johnny Vanko. At the Civic Arena, back in like October or November 1974, right about the time I got um, wireframe glasses, then I got my contacts from Gladio Food Service, you know, they did a union. I had to join the union and uh, the food service union. But yeah, yeah. But it was, I went to that concert with Johnny Vanko, yes. Soon, oh, soon the light. Soon. Jethro Saw to Ambrosia, and yes. Fleetwood Mac to Synchronicity. And yeah, enough rambling. <laughs> Is it still going? I can't see. Yes, it is. Nine minutes. Okay. Enough's enough. The Ambrosia. I love Ambrosia. Made a copy from my album at Mark Amadon's house in Hyde Park. Amadon. Weavers and Visors, the Ovals, Mrs. Carey, Emil, then the Amadons, the Lonavises, Papa Barros, Zine, Shears, Without chefs, the uh, 
circuses than the stills. Mrs. Chisholm, I used to remember the towers happened. Mrs. Mr. Mrs. Tower, Tower, Jim Tower, Mrs. Chisholm. What was her neighbor's name? The principal. You know, they lived in the, the Mainwaring house. Can't, can't think of it all of a sudden. Stilly? Sit there. Well, anyhow. Memories. 